Here we look at how to use direct quotations, paraphrasing, summarizing, and tables and figures when you write. Direct quotation means using someone else's exact words. Be clear about your purpose. Will you use your quote as support or will you critique its ideas? Keep your quotes to less than 10% of your word count. Only choose quotes that do or say exactly what you wish to express. Introduce your quotes and follow them up with a discussion. Enclose short quotes in quotation marks. Set off long quotes in block text without quotation marks. Include page numbers using the required citation style. Paraphrasing means significantly rewording other people's ideas. Be clear about your purpose. Will it help you develop your ideas? Read first, then look away and make notes. Check that you've kept the original meaning but use different wording. Identify any strings of exact words, paraphrase these or place quotation marks around them. Reference using the required citation style. Summarizing means significantly reducing a text length. Be clear about your purpose. Will it help your argument? Skim read the text, noting only main points. Summarize your notes. Check that you've kept the original meaning but reworded ideas. Reference using the required citation style. Tables and figures. These are visual elements. Be clear about your purpose. Will the table or figure illustrate your point? Introduce tables and figures and follow them up with a discussion. Number tables and figures independently. Include titles above tables and titles and captions below figures. Make sure that titles and captions are self-explanatory. If you've taken or based your figure or table on information from another source, use the required citation style for referencing.